What up, y'all? What's going on? We're gonna play... Okay, so yesterday... You may remember we played this Team or Ultimatum deck. And I thought to myself... Maybe we're not going hard enough here. The goal is to get... To, 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 to crazy Planeswalkers... And to hit cards. There'll be times where we hit, like... Two Ugans or a Nissa when we had a Nissa out. And maybe we weren't going deep enough. You know what I'm saying? So let's take the Clothis out. Let's take the Soul Seer out. Let's take the Bone Crushers and the Brazen Bees out. And let's try to maximize the things we can hit. The big fat things we can hit with this. Um, so one Chandra, one Cavalier of Flame, one Chandra Awakened Inferno. Vivian Monsters Advocate, Questing Beast. We just want to, we, we almost want to make this like a Highlander deck with just a bunch of one ofs so that we can hit them. I like 4-drop Tamiyo, but I want to keep it Teamer because I don't want to have to splash a white. Green Cavalier does seem good in here. I don't think I care about Garrick Unleashed, to be honest. So we're Teamer colors, eh? If we untap on five with Domery, we're just going to six, right? I ordered a chicken and an egg online the other day. I'll let you know. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, you didn't know Elder Dragon Highlander was because there can only be one? That's kind of funny. Uh... Kind of like Bio Essence Hydra. We can play one of these six drop Ugans. And now let's let's actually just go for uh, six or seven. Let's see what else is good. Oh, I, I do like Sarkon actually. Sarkon's pretty sweet. It's only permanence, or else I'd put some Sublime Epiphanies in there because I do like that card. Hmm. And I also think we want more Genesis Ultimatum. Like, we're trying to... Genesis Ultimatum is like our... Uh, you know, wish I didn't do that. Is like our, our goal. Oh, wait. I was thinking, for some reason, I remember, I was thinking of the Bant Tamio, not the Simic Tamio. Yeah, Simic Tamio is fine, if that's a thing. I literally just haven't played Tamio in so long that I forgot whether, like, I just forgot that it wasn't, it wasn't Bant. 
I wonder if Beanstalk Giants are good. Oh, what up, Phil? I don't hate like one Endray's Forerunners either. I kind of do want one Imperious Great Worm, to be honest with you. That dude's a 16 16. Niv Mizzet. God, I love that Niv Mizzet, man. One more Genesis Ultimatum. Let's take off these. Yeah, I was literally thinking of the three the three color Tamiyo, dude. That's so weird. Do we have 25 lands in here? 25 lands. <laughs> One, two, so we have three six drops. Four, five, six. This is, uh, maybe take out the Chandra. Mm. I'm pretty sure you've said the flag is a big plus one before. I'm pretty, I'm pretty positive. You know about Cavalier? It's interesting because Cavalier lets you discard all of your, like, there's so many times where I'm drawing like two or three lands with Genesis Ultimatum and Cavalier just lets us discard them, which is pretty sweet. I think it just might be two Paradise to root or two, like, Gift of Paradise? As soon as I posted it, I realized the error of my ways. I see, it's funny because you said, like, I, did, I have as soon as I posted it. That was when I told you. And I was like, oh, wow, that's sassy. But I guess so. I'm pretty sure I heard it before. And then you're like, Thorn Mammoth. Whenever Aaron is just throwing fights as one creature. Yeah, it's all right. I'm pretty sure this is like the, um, like the... Oh, Cavalier was the other card we were going to put in. Yeah. I think we just want one more basic. And now because of that, I think we actually want Goose, or uh, Grazer. <coughs> Alright, this, this is the next uh, iteration of this, of this deck. What are we afraid of? Nisses? And usually I don't do two of the same decks. I don't play the same deck twice. But Thank you. I, f I was thinking about, like, I liked this deck a lot and I wanted to do more with it, so. Badger, thank you, thank you for the gifted subs, buddy. Really appreciate it. Uh, Golos is fine, but in this deck I think it's just strictly worse than Solemn Simulacrum, which does the same thing for thank one less you. mana and also draws us a card. Badger, thank you thank for the gifted you. subs, my dude. I appreciate you, buddy. Um, wow. Genesis, Genesis, Imperious Great Worm. Mulligan time. We'll keep this. Put a new one back. Thank you. Thank you. And if you guys want to support the channel, you can definitely help me draw lands. Thank you. But another way to support the channel is check out manatraders.com. You can use promo code RATTRAIN uh, Thank you. to get 20% off the first three months of any subscription, along with the link down below in the description. So definitely check that out. Thank you. <laughs> this is a totally different version of the deck. Is Golos not banned? Subs not drugs. You can't. Wait, what did what were you responding to, Super Fritz? Oh, to help me draw lands. <laughs> yeah, it's true. T 
Do you need more support? Always, buddy. Oh, good. We didn't draw another. We drew another Psalm Simulacrum. We added 26 lands to the deck, just to be clear. So, uh, that's cool. Sweet. Can you describe how you feel about the last banner restriction announcement in 29 words or less? I approve. Wholeheartedly. It was a great decision. It took them too long, but I'm glad they did it. That's how I feel. Thank you. Garrett with the gifted subs, man. Thank you so much, dude. I appreciate you, buddy. Thank you, Garrett, man. Thank you. You are ridiculously awesome as well. Land on top. We have to have a land, right? Because it's beautiful. You did say you needed... That's true. Well, I feel like I always need support. Emotional. Financial. Physical. Thank you. When there's no chairs. I'm just like, can I sit on you? What you gonna do? I sit Thank on you. you. I sit, sit, sit. I sit on you. You guys know that jam? Financial? <laughs> Thank you. Well, you know, without you guys, I literally... Uh, I mean, let's be real. I don't get to live in a house or you know thank you have a car or have hobbies so you know thank you guys for supporting me and keeping me alive thank are you still in utah no i'm in colorado i've been in colorado for two months now oh yeah the september rent is great you guys have gone above and beyond take action go take another mountain Next time we can play Thorny Boy. Eliminate on an Arboreal Grazer. Wow, that's fascinating. Were they just trying to get sick? Were they just trying to be able to cast Euro this turn? Because that's pretty funny. Um. Yeah, I would have to live in a trash can, but it wouldn't be like a nice trash can. It would be like, um, it wouldn't even be like one of the good, simple human trash cans that are like super nice. Well, I'll choose this one. Uh, well, enter tapped because I can't do anything with it. Don't, didn't want to do that. No attacks. We will double block if you'll let me. Probably won't. This guy fills up your graveyard like nobody's business. It's pretty wild. Yep, love that. Actually, basically tapped out. I mean, they're just going to play Nissa and kill our Ugin, which sucks. Because then we have to deal with Nissa as well. But. What can you do? They only have two cards in the graveyard. So. Uh, how's the move? Move is alright. Definitely better than the move to Utah, considering it's only like nine hours away. It was actually pretty smooth. Me and Mike and Kerwit made it. 
cool. Well, that's your turn, I would imagine. Yep. Do I care about Grazer? No, not really. That would be cool if they'd stop destroying our lands, but... I mean, if that was their only play last turn, like... I'm kind of surprised. Oh, we could also we could have just played Euro last turn. That probably would have been better, right? Could have drawn. Yeah, we'll just play Euro this next turn. Sometimes streaming makes you forget that thing. Why doesn't our opponent have a pet? Like that's weird, right? Um, one, two, three, four, five. The whole new world, don't you dare close your eyes. I guess casualties of war number three. Kill Solemn, Euro, and my mountain. My, that's my guess. A whole new world. Don't you dare close your eyes. Okay, so they're just going to kill that guy again. Wow, these eliminates on the... On the Arboreal Grazers are pretty comical. They know they can hit Euro with the Eliminate, right? Well, if we hit a land, if we hit a land off this that can come into play, we can Ugin negative two kill this. It has to be like a basic land though. Otherwise we go to three and this Ugin kills us. The Kraken doesn't have reach. We can gain 6 here by playing both, which puts us at 11. This is 8, 9, 10, 11. That kills us. I think we just have to attack first. Oh, wait, that puts us at 5. Oh, yeah, I forgot about the life. Okay, that's not bad. Can be we could have also killed their Ugin. But... Watch, they play a second Ugin and kill us with it. All our plans ruined. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Okay. Can you just cast it now? I think you just cast it right. One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is actually just fine. We're alive. Genesis Ultimate off the top, that's what we're looking for. Because that seems cool. Oh good, they're going to kill something. They did not. Hmm.
Well, we do get to attack here. Which is alright. You're going to let me... Wow, that's weird. You let me actually cast it. Hmm. Nine cards. We can actually cast this, cast this, go to 12. Have two blockers. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is 10. Or we can just play both of these. Let's do that. I have great because if we hit Genesis Ultimate, we can cast that too. Uh, Enter tapped. Okay, now we got a game. Now we have a game. Five cards to two cards, but we have two Euros in the graveyard. An Ugin and a QR Best of Sea God. Feels, feels good. If they want to attack, I'll easily block. This guy has Hexproof, which is pretty nice. Hydroid Crass is for 11. Yep, that's a good amount of cards. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, you have 9. And you have 8. They have to discard one. One was a land. So they basically drew 3, let's say. Let's make ourselves feel better. And say they drew 3. Tap all them perms. Do -do 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 this is nine ten, and then we just Ugin for three. We lose our own Kraken, but might have to be done. And then we can play Euro after that. What they untap though? To the essence of the multiverse. I mean, Ugin's gonna go up to to nine. It's like gonna take two more turns. I don't know. I'm not sure what you mean. We can wait to Ugin go for alt. They don't untap during. Oh. And then we just get to steal this next turn? Well, that's interesting. So we're one, two, three, four, five. Fight on without me. Um, let's play Solemn. Sure. Last basic. Man, Cure Best of Sea God is pretty good. Oh, that guy doesn't do anything. Ready for a good time. Did you take out the Genesis Assaults? You'd think so. Also, Cavalier Flame being able to like put the cards into play from Genesis Ultimatum. And then pay two more to activate this to give all your creatures haste. Which is 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 18, 24, 5, 6, 7, 22. This is lethal if they don't have an answer. We do have triomes in here. We have several triomes. Hmm. Yeah. So we're just negative five, Ugin. Can you any permanent? Like, what the f- That's insane, dude. Well, if I knew we drew this, I'd probably be taking something else, but... So we can shoot this. They're, like, basically... They have three mana. God, we, we make so much mana, though.
Targeting, targeting Nissa. Sure. One, two, three. Six, eight, nine, ten. Resolve. That should be game. The land fights for us. Well, didn't want to use any of that red. Why would you use the red? That was cool. Now I have one less attacker. Rise, my elemental friend. Oh, never mind. So they can block one thing and they take 14, uh, 22, 24. I think they go to one here. No, wait, we have this. No, they block here, right? Oh, man, we don't want to die, though. Oh, we can actually, oh, no, they can Teferi, but I don't know if that does anything because we can activate this after attacks. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yep. Well, that's pretty bad. Um, so we go to 11 and then we just die to this thing, right? Yeah, that's actually terrible. That's amazing. No, wait, we can play this guy. Yeah, we're not dead. I don't know why you'd say dead. That's weird. People love pointing out when you're dead, even though they're wrong. It's pretty. It's pretty hilarious. Twitch chat always had lethal. It's correct. Let's choose Genesis Ultimatum. Wow, still no Genesis Ultimatum. I don't think they're in the deck, guys. Why is this why is this a 635? <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh dear. You're just going face. Interesting. I mean that's fine.
sure. I mean, now we can ultimate Ugin. How did they miss lethal three times? We're at 14. How did they how did they do that? Tamiya is actually surprisingly good with Euro, right? Um, just ultimate Ugin gaining seven seems great here. I mean, this is just for the value, right? Plus, we have Cavalier Flame, so okay. Dude, Cavalier Flame has been MVP at getting all these dudes haste. Guys, we found... We found the Genesis Ultimatums. Well... Okay. I mean, we only have nine cards in our deck, so, like, we're just going to draw five of them. <sighs> so, Questing Beast seems great here. <clears throat> so does Aethergust and Mystical Dispute. Got a great worm. Um, take out Kogla. It's not as good when they don't have uh, like when they're playing Euro. You could just they just I don't even know if Kogla's that great in the deck. Take out one solemn. Just bring in either gust. Bring in one negate for like Nissa or Ugin and bring in one either ghost. It's not it's not a ton, but that's it's really hard to sideboard when you're playing like Highlander decks. Five lands, two cavaliers. Sure. I mean we have four Euros, two cultivates, three grazers. And three solemns, so like our odds of hitting a two, three, or four is decent. Yep. Sure. My favorite kind of effect, Thoughtseize. Said no one ever. Enters tapped. Alright, so our odds of hitting a 2, 3, or 4 drop is actually very low. Watch, we're going to cycle this and we're going to end up drawing an Arboreal Grazer that we could have played last turn and put two lands into play. I mean, just hitting a Cavalier here is not bad. They also haven't done anything either, so this is where they go. Nissa, yep, fucking amazing. It's okay, guys. It was just another land.
One, two, three. That's actually pretty good. <sighs> I fucking hate Nissa so much, dude. So much. What an absolutely miserable card. Give you a 3-3, keep two lands untapped, double your mana. Cool. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. This is 12 mana. Yep. This has been a fun game. This has been an absolutely fun game. Yeah, we're just bringing all these in. <laughs> so what do we have? 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. We had 16 cards that cost 4 or less. We could not draw a single one of them. You know what? Sure, we'll try it again. Wow. Don't play them both at the same time, though. Cultivator Euro, one time. drop i also don't know why Nissa, like nissa i don't know nissa's super annoying i guess they feel like with a gross spiral gone it's not as bad but like it's still turn three into turn nissa you know it's still turn three euro into turn four nissa and she's just very hard to deal with she makes a creature that protects herself she untaps your mana very similar to teferi would untap two lands sure take my cavalier of thorns questing beast Fascinating. Ironically, I don't even have a third green for Cavalier, so. Joke's on you, I couldn't even cast that. Well, that's kind of funny. I'm sure they're going to Aether Gust it, though, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah, amazing. One, two, three, four, yeah. Three, three, huh? Sounds good. I mean, we boarded in like a bunch of the gates, so I don't know where those are. Three, four, five, six. This actually looks good for us because they're only going to have one blocker and we can probably kill it with Ugin and then kill their Nissa as well, so I think this game's actually over.
I feel like there was a way to do that, but I don't think there was. We only had two forests. Like, she gotta go, right? So four, five, six, seven. Yeah, that seems fine. I do have seven cards. So they can cast an, an arrow here. An arrow? A euro? We can't actually cast negate because we don't have... I guess we should have done Tet Ketri a Triome. Yeah, you can minus Ugin and uh, your, your lands don't die. <sighs> Misplay. I mean, we should have played this. We should have done the Triome because then we can tap it and negate this, but... Aren't they still dead here? The land shall conquer you. Okay, cool. I'll take it. Did we draft any power? No. Unfortunately. Okay. That was game, that was round one. I think Kogla can go. That was just a cute card we added for funsies. This guy can probably go too. I feel like we want another of each Cavalier. Those guys were very, very good. They're also not legendary, so if we hit multiples, it's fine. I think we might have one more Cultivate over one Solemn, just so we have something for the earlier turns. Blue Cavalier kind of sucks. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's pretty funny. Jesus, if I do, I really hope people play fewer breeding pools in the future. One of three euros. Oh, you got it. Spark double is interesting, but I don't think I love it. Like, I'd rather have cards that, like, because you can a you can only target your own things with spark double, and b like it's just not great if you have nothing. <sighs> okay, so basically you're just gonna play. You're just gonna play Frilled Mystic here. No, you're not gonna play Frilled Mystic here. Fascinating. Hmm. Okay, got it. Is Kiora even worth it here? Kiora who? Kiora best the Sea God? I think it is. I think the card's great. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, Cure Planeswalker? Hmm. 
if they counter this, we're just going to the next game. They gotta have a frilled mystic, right? Yep, that'll do. Cool. It feels super late. That's the whole point. Like, Genesis Ultimatum into big things. Like, that's the whole point of the deck, though. I mean, making it 8 hit hexproof is pretty decent. And I'm probably going to take it out now because they're playing a bunch of counter spells. Four of those for sure. I did. I did take out the impervious great worm. Yeah, I'll keep this. I mean, I think if they want to play Spectral Sailor here, I don't care. If they want to counter Euro, well, Euro, that's fine too. Because next time we get to play Field Passage and other Euro or Cultivate. And keep up Dispute, Dispute. Let's get a mountain. That's interesting. I mean, they know we don't have it, or else it wouldn't. I wouldn't have had an auto tap here, right? Is that how that works? That's really annoying to play against. One, two, three, four, five, six. If we hit another land, we can. Well, I mean, assuming they don't have a counter spell, when like 60% of their deck is counter spells. Resolved. Well, I am impressed. We aren't going to attack into a wolf, so no attacks. Yeah, obviously. Yep. 
Easy block. <laughs> Wait, did we just get the resolve of Genesis Ultimate? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve. They could have disputed? I mean, yeah, but they didn't have it, obviously, so. Yeah, I think this is fine. One, two, three, four. Okay, that's pretty good. Um, also pretty decent. Okay. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana right now. But only one blue. That's not what I want to do. I don't think we're just passing here. One, two, three, four. We only have five mana, so we can't cast this. Ah, that's annoying. So this is probably gonna die here, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Block here. Decline. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So close. Fascinating.
we can just go block, block. Sean takes one. Okay. Oh man, I love it when they try to counter Chandra. It's like my favorite thing ever. I like your energy. Two vigilant creatures. Seems good. One, two, three, four, five. Sure. <laughs> okay. I mean, they have to win in three turns, we're at 17, so. Yep, that's what I thought. I think Questing Beast is actually pretty good here. Maybe we don't even want the Ugin. They can cut Genesis. Take out the Ugins. Bring in these guys. Half percent of 11 of the return of Freshly Brews. Oh man, I'm glad to hear it, buddy. Especially glad to hear it because it's me and Rob, so I wasn't sure. I wanted to make sure it was like well received. Kind of like that. I don't know if you need ultimate to be honest. What is your casting when I'm winning? Um, we cast a bunch yesterday and did great with them. I mean, we played one game, so it's hard to say what my record is. Because we were in our literal second match. And we drew none in the first match, so I'm not sure how that's like any sort of relevant statistic. I'm just not going to let you get any pressure on the board. Because then you just get to keep that guy up forever, so... And you don't have Frobe Mystic Mana. Uh, take action. Oh, that was Sarcasm? Wow, I totally missed it, dude. Like, totally missed it. Uh, no blocks. Don't fall on Shinobi me, bro. They did not. So one, two, three. Oh, this is actually... Green cards are so good, which makes... Green blue decks are so good, which makes Aethergust and Mystical Dispute so good. A bye bye Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, I do the same shit you did to me. And that's how you know it's annoying. Because they concede at 16 life. So, like, just don't do it, man.
So, I think we're. In, I, th I like the. I like the Ugin. I like the other Ugin. I like the Cavaliers. I am wondering if Paradise Druid might be better because we're kind of ramping into four here, and like we're running out of basics, like for Cultivate and Solemn. I don't know. I think we might want more two drops. Like Paradise Druid might be better. But ca ugh, Cultivate gets you two lands. Or Goose. Maybe we just want one more Goose. Just so we have five one drops. Let's do that. Uh, I thought End Raise Forerunners could be fine. I don't think Shark Typhoon does much. Because you're likely you're likely to hit it off of the Genesis Ultimatum. I don't know. I'll keep because of Solemn. <laughs> Famous last words. That doesn't make any sense. What kind of word what kind of last words would those even be? I mean Enraise works better, yeah, but if you have like two creatures and you play Enraise Forerunners and you attack for seven plus yeah, I mean like it's probably gonna be an average of six. Plus four, so it's ten plus seven. I mean, it's seventeen damage. Like, I don't think you have to go in a in a in a go wide strategy if you're just nugging them for seven off a of Genesis Ultimatum, plus whatever other pump cre your other creatures get. Just take Solemn here. Wow, another Sultai deck? That's crazy. T -t -t Today, Junior? Oh, look, they took Solemn. Come on, one of those many. Three drops. Yep, nothing. Dude, I never draw a Burrow Grazer or Uro or Cultivate. It's pretty wild. Like, I'm literally just casting four drops on turn four. Fantastic. Uh, I don't know if we liked Goose more than Grazer. The problem is if they kill the Goose with any sort of burn, you don't get any value out of it. If they kill the Grazer, you still get to keep the land. <sighs> I would like to test a new hypothesis. Interesting. Hmm. So she goes to six, right? So I can only deal five. We still get to play Nissa Attacker for five. It's pretty good. Okay. Opponent said nice. And I don't think anyone genuinely means that when they have when they get nissed. Um 
So they can't negative three. I don't think Grazer is a play here. I hope they tap out for something dumb. That's actually... Interesting, you play Tamiyo second. What if you hit what you want? Seems like bad sequencing. Yep. I turned those things off three sets ago. What, what are you referring to? Planeswalker sounds? Come on, buddy. Where's your spirit? Where's your, where's your fun? Where is your spirit? Where is your fun? So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, Nissa's just taking three. That's not. Um, I feel like we Genesis ultimatum here. Can we? Can we? Blue, blue. Blue, blue, blue. Red, red. Yeah, let's go blue. Blue, blue, red. The land shall conquer you. Uh, questing beast, cavalier, Katria. Get rid of Grazer. Wow, that's really good. Pay two life. Activate the ability. <laughs> Next. Next two attackers. One. Is this lethal? They block here. They take five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, sixteen. They go to two. and they have to chump block. Oh, no, they're dead. They're 100%. No, wait, hold on, hold on. Dang it. I was going to keep Goose back so then we can activate the, the Cavalier again. That probably would have been lethal. Yep, I think that would have been good. They have to block here, right? 5, 6, 10, 16. So they go to 2. Oh, you're dead if you do this. Okay. Well, that was not correct. I mean, they can't eliminate. That was a blue-green land. <coughs> Well, that was pretty wild. Let's get rid of one Ugin. Let's get rid of one Genesis. Bring in two Aether Gusts. Oh, you guys are chatting with each other. I'm like reading your comments and you're like, eliminate? And I'm like, I don't think they have eliminate because they don't have black. But you guys are actually just having a conversation. I guess that's cool.
Okay. Well, oh, they did it. Jesus, it never, like, never, dude. I'm gonna keep it again. Psalms and Akram's fine. They're not a super fast deck. <laughs> yeah, I'm like... Antibody, what are you talking about? They're not a black mana. They can't kill anything. And you're like, I'm not talking to you. Stay out of my conversation. And I'm like, oh, dang. I'll just go. Oh yeah, Euro into Solemn or Euro into Cavalier. Cavalario. I don't mind those dogs. Sure. I mean, we have we have enough lands and things to like not have to worry about hitting Euro, especially because Euro just cycles itself and puts it in itself in the graveyard. Totally fine with it. Well, the question is, Solemn Simulacrum, which gets a card out of our deck, Euro also gets a technically gets a card out of our deck by drawing it. I think it's Solemn because it uses all of our mana. Uh, we have a mountain in hand. Let's get another island. Don't forget, the island is the uh, the triple color on uh, Genesis Ultimatum. <laughs> Divide cards into pile. Top pile will be face down. Okay. Yeah, it's fine. I think Atrus is actually great. Someone else mentioned it. He's basically like a mole drifter. Like, it's just a 3-2 with an evasive ability for 4 mana instead of 5. Okay, so they took these two. Totally fine. Thank you! I probably should have done it the other way, right? Like, I probably should have put these two face down and then the Nissa face up. Phil, thank you for the gifted sub, buddy. Really appreciate it, my dude. So, they can't really do anything, though, here. So, I guess we'll just... I mean, unless one of the other cards is in guess. It was not. Um, what are we putting on the battlefield here? Stomping ground? Put a steam vents. Enter tapped. Enter tapped. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven lands. Just waiting for that Genesis ultimatum. Any day now. One, two, three, four, five. Next time we can play Euro into Cavalier of Thorns, even if they counter it. I don't mind any of the sound effects. Hunter is doing a little... Oh man, he's having a good time. Two, three, four, five, one, two... Actually... Land is come plan tapped. Um... Put a land card from on the battlefield. Interesting. Okay. Okay. Um... Alright, 
right, well, Genesis next turn seems decent. I think we could have played that turn a little bit differently. Like, if we play a land, they're not going to Mystical Dispute our guy. Or they are, but we get to resolve it. Interesting. Double block? View the battlefield, target a card. Um, it addressed seems good. Reason being, we know they have a Pelucranos in their graveyard now. If they want to exile six cards for it though, it costs six. Like that's their one, two, three, four, five, six. Tamio is fine. Let's see what they have in Casualties of War. Well, I'm glad you did not hit. Yeah, this is all fine. We're gonna Genesis Ultimate him here. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. And we get to keep up. And we get to keep up either ghost. That's pretty cool. That's terrible. <laughs> That's fucking terrible. Wow, that was embarrassing. Wow, good game, really. Mm. I don't think that is better than nothing. That's almost embarrassing. Getting back, Ugin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, that's pretty good. I have learned much from my ancestors. Peace is fragile and fleeting. Cherish what little you find. This is actually fine. We get to draw a card. cards in the graveyard is rough. Cavalier Flame, can you kill Ugin? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. This is five. This is nine. That's ten, eleven. We have four red? Looks like we do. One, two, three, four, five. Well, I guess we'll kill Ugin. Get rid of Grazer, get rid of Cultivate, and get rid of Solemn at this point. better to probably go with Ugin here because then it just forces them to get the Ugin back with the Tamiyo, so. I no longer wish to stay. Didn't either go to Ugin? No, that's not a that's not a legal play. That is not a that is not a thing you can do in Magic the Gathering.
So what, they have one mana, two mana? Remember they were a good game. And I was like, shut up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven mana. Hmm. What is our option here? There's a lot of things we could be doing here. They have an Ugin in hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. They can only do one thing a turn. I mean, we could definitely Ugin negative four. Put him to three, then they kill it. We could also just play this Ugin, exile this guy. Or destroy, whatever you want to call it. Or we could play Ugin, shoot this, and then Aether Gust this. Yeah, let's do that. I'm gonna unmute them because I wanna say good game. Yeah, this is pretty good. Well, because you saw them say good game when I when I whiffed on Genesis Ultimatum, so... I'm just kind of like... Guess we'll have a good game. Let's hover over it. Good game. You got it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you can make a five, five. These aren't in their hand, which is really confusing because, like, you can technically only cast one of them thanks to nine cards in the graveyard. And Pelucranos takes, like, six out of there. Okay, sure. Cards in the library? 29 versus 25. I will destroy if I must. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. Man, we're one shy. Let's see if we can hit a land here. <laughs> I'll pay two life. See that oops I did? <laughs> oh man, good times. That was a good oops. Oh man, did they like did they did they quit concede? Did they just Did Tiffany Ann just walk away? <laughs> they're really they're really tanking about this Chandra emblem. Stop it. Get some help. Down here. Down here. Salt is a way of life. It's true.
Guys. We still have all these. I mean, they could play Ugin. They could kill this with an Ugin or negative... Th they could negative six their Ugin. Gets rid of most stuff, except for my two Planeswalkers and my Forest. But... Also, Ugin gets the ultimate next turn. Let's just put Vivian, Grazer, Cavalier, and Euro into play. I mean, that's pretty good. Plus, we get to draw seven. This is 19 cards. This feels like a Yorion deck. Like, I feel like you just got, you go through so many cards from uh, discarding with Cavalier. Resolve what? Oh, it's finally... Oh, we're finally resolving it. Discarding with Cavalier, drawing with Euro, getting lands out with Solemn and Cultivate. Oh, I guess they're just gone. Well, what can you do? Plus. I mean, I don't think they're there anymore, man. Like, maybe they are. Maybe they're just sitting there, but like... Oh, God. It's good times, dude. Okay. Well, that's too bad. Turns out you whiff off one Genesis Ultimatum. The second one still counts. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. You can find the updated deck list down in the description below check out manatraders.com with the promo code and the link down below you can save 20 percent off your first three months which is, which is a great deal they have a great subscription service everyone everyone who has used it has loved it and uh you can check out coolstuffinc.com every wednesday i had a new article go up today and uh check out patreon.com slash frank reports great way to support the channel for one or two dollars a month and i'll see you guys next time Thanks for watching.